Alright guys, I just want to let you guys know that uh, the Pro Rancher has a great welding series. So go check out his channel. It's uh, very organized like mine. I have playlists for everything, so does he. So just go into the welding series and you'll see what we're doing. So, alright, let's get started. So we got our you know, hatchet right here. We got some uh, sand. This is a file. And this is very 60 grit and very fine. Just uh, touch it up. Yep, for... Okay, I guess we got two of those, right? Yeah. So, you're not gonna need a lot, so... By the way, these are, this is sandpaper, guys. And then we got our stone right here, just to touch up the sharp. Like we just will cut. Take this out. Good. So, we're gonna pause the video so we can move it over a little bit so we can get to this area. Actually, I'll just work right there. There we go. <sighs> okay, so. Let me try. We're gonna smooth this curve out in a second. Let's just smooth this part out. Hi, Trek. And the switch. By the way, guys, I think we're using the 60 sand grit. Yep. So we're obviously just making a nice little straight line right here, as you can see on the video. Alright, guys, sorry about that. We just ran out of memory quickly because this is only a, a 1 gig yeah, memory we're card. Fix that. So. Um, next time I come over here, I'll bring a 32 gig. You know, but anyway, so we were sanding this out, and uh, what we're doing is we're using the file right here to sand out basically this little curve right here. So um, you basically want to just use the file, and it uh, works a lot more better and more efficient than using a sandpaper. Yeah. I think sandpaper is just something to touch, uh, like touch it up, I guess, after yeah, you use the file work. So we're gonna come back to you actually because we're gonna get uh, some a better file. So we're going to do everything done, and uh, we'll show you guys what everything and all smooth and out looks like. So we'll be back after this quick commercial break. Alright guys, now we're touching it up with the very fine, which is 220 sand grit uh, sandpaper. As you can see, it's starting to get its shape. There's a lot of aluminum dust everywhere. As always, guys, if you're doing your tools, don't leave them out when you're done. Put them uh, back so you don't have a mess. Okay, I have two. All right, so we'll be back. Just want to show you guys that I'm using the 220 sand grit paper, and now we're gonna finish off with the file work. Be back in a quick sec. Alrighty, guys, so we're back. We uh. Added a little bit more shape to this. Um, this file work really does great. See, for, nothing beats the old fashioned way. We were going to use a sander, but thought that the old fashioned way would yeah. be a lot more nicer. So, we'll sand down a little bit more. At the end, we. Uh, just to get it all smoothed out, we're just going to use a little. Uh, electric sander. Yeah. Just like, so we, that will be faster. Yeah, Sorry, guys. Right. That might take a while, but, um, okay, so, hold on. I wanted to show you guys that we're getting up there with our progress. Not bad. It's looking pretty good, actually. Let me just reposition it. 
So we can get it. There we go. We repositioned it to make it perfectly straight. Yep. I would recommend using these. Um, these things are very good for keeping it straight and, you know, obviously when we're doing the sanding and the file work, you obviously want something like that so you can get a nice clean edge. Alright, we'll be back after we get some more progress and we'll just kind of sand this stuff down. Be back in a little bit. Okay. Alright, everybody. So, we're back and I think we got a pretty clean edge. Not really too, um, not really too clean, but it's alright for at the moment. Um, probably later we're going to be using a electric sander. Um, probably, I don't know, the next video or something. Why are you sand? Why are you doing that again? I just sandpapered that. Now I just, uh, now I think she's fine. Now we know you fine. Alright. So now we're using the fine sandpaper, so um, we're just going to cut off a little square. By the way, this is 120, yeah, 120 grit. 220. Uh, oh, 220, sorry, grit paper. This is for the touch up. A lot better than it was before, I can tell you that much, so, I mean, I guess that's a plus. There's obviously some spots that he didn't really work out too much, like, I mean, right here, some dings right there, and um, let's just kind of zoom in the camera so you guys can see what we Yeah, you guys want to use, here, we'll just get out like, some of the tools that you should use. You want to use, like, a hacksaw. You want to use a hacksaw like this? Yep. It's very helpful. Or you can go nice and small and maneuver while you use a little saw like this. Very nice. Pretty cool. We don't really have to worry about this too much because um, those this little lumps and everything will go away when we put the handle on the hatchet. We're gonna, uh, for the handle, we're just gonna wrap it up in what a paracord. So it's gonna be like a little survival thing. Um. We could look up like the dimensions and get like a handle actually. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Also guys, um, let me just point this out. You guys gotta know safety. Um, like I said, uh, the Pro Rancher has a great safety video. I'll link his channel and his video. I'll put it right in the annotation right now. And uh, links, uh, an <laughs> links you to the annotation where you can actually go check out the video of the safety. So obviously wear gloves, don't be barefoot. Um, we didn't really wear gloves at the moment just because we're doing simple stuff like sanding. doesn't really need too much stuff. Um, if you got really toxicated, um, definitely wear, sorry about that, um, definitely wear like a mask or something, um, you know, so it can uh, not really intoxicate you with fumes that come from the aluminum and any, uh, any other dust that you kind of use. So, I think we're going to be switching up. Now we're going to be taking out this, so I believe this is the way you do it. Yes, you are. And we're going to tighten up this part. And we're going to work more on the blade right now. Yep. So we're going to be doing the file work on here. Now this is the part that I wanted to do for a while because this is really annoying. Um, so we're going to start off, obviously, at the oopsie, here, 60 okay. sand grip paper. This is like perfect for doing stuff like this. Here. But what we're going to do is, as you can see, there's a lot of dings right here. Let me just... bring it a little bit more closer. As you can see, there's a lot of dings on the blade itself, so we don't really want that at all. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sand this down, make it so that everything is just nice and smooth and on the same page, and we'll meet you guys back in a quick sec. See you guys in a little bit. Alrighty okay, guys, so uh, just in a little update. As you can see, it's starting to turn out very good. It's starting to get an edge. There is nothing on here is a little bit of indents, but we're obviously going to be finishing that, that off with the sandpaper, and then we're going to go to the 220 I grit sandpaper, very fine, so we can touch it up and finish what we need to finish. It actually has no uh, edge right now, but a little, a little work on the stone, and we'll get it there. Get, get it there, and we'll touch it up with some stuff. 
Also, guys, I'd recommend using... Hold on. I just zoomed it in, didn't I? Yes, I did. I'd recommend... Now, this is starting to the part where the aluminum's flying everywhere, so... You guys want to use a gas mask and the glasses. Obviously, he has goggles um, on already, but that's his normal glasses. I have goggles on at the moment um, because I'm very... Uh, I can be very intoxicated with the fumes and the aluminum flying everywhere, the dust and everything. I get really a bad allergies with dust. So if you have those bad features, definitely wear some goggles. And uh, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that's like a hundred. That's a three hundred dollar camera. I don't think you could break that. But so thank you guys. Um, we are going to be back in a quick sec. Alrighty, guys. So uh, we just finished up doing some of the file work. As we can see, or as you can see. There's a little scuff mark right there, but uh, we'll that was fix that up. When we were cutting. Uh, fix that up in a little bit. Yeah. But anyway, um, what we're gonna do is we're going to release this. Oh, tighten it. There we go. After we released it, we're gonna do the Japanese water stone. It, actually, it's not really a Japanese water stone. It is just a regular stone. Okay, so whatever. <laughs> stone. Whatever. Um, so we're going to sharpen this bad boy up, and we'll show you guys the end result. Be back in a quick sec. Alright, guys. Um, so we're going to uh, end up the video with sharpening up the blade with a water stone. So we're just going to zoom in on that just to show you guys the technique, and we'll be right back. We should actually get uh, something. Alright guys, so we're switching up. Uh, doing the doing the stone is really, really difficult. Even if we moistened it up and made everything nice and pretty, it would take forever. So what we did was we decided to put the uh, the old-fashioned uh, way. The old fashioned old, way, I guess, with a file. Old fashioned way. With a file. So I think this works so much nicer. Don't do it that way. And uh, also, if you do notice, I was smart enough to put the file right through there, and it made it super nice. As you can see, that's it's all you all do. Super smooth. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. So we'll be back with you once we're done filing and doing everything. Alrighty, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to leave a drop rating down below. So here is the finished product. It's not done yet. Obviously, we got some more stuff to do to it, but we're gonna polish it right now. We're gonna put a handle on this probably tomorrow, and we'll see you all in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Peace.